Hi, this is David, and if you were in France and you were listening to a conversation and you were able to pick out a few words and you heard the word ski, you would probably think that the person was talking about skiing, wouldn't you? That's what I would normally think if I couldn't hear all the other words. But maybe the person just said ce qui, and that's a sound pattern, a version of ce qui that you don't yet know. So let's listen to this a little bit from the newsletter, and you tell me if you agree that when the person pronounces ce qui, he actually says ski. Our ear actually hears ski. So let's play that. Alors, ce qui est fou, c'est que. 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 Alors, ce qui est fou. So I am hearing ski. Alors, ce qui est fou, ski. So the problem for us as non-native listeners is that if we don't catch all of the words around it, we might hear ski, and it's uh, a word that makes us think that the person is talking about skiing all of a sudden. He has changed subjects, and he's talking about skiing. What's going on? But what we really heard is ce qui. This is a sound pattern, a version of ce qui that you need to recognize if you're going to understand the native speakers when you come to France. So. Um, this type of listing is what I call the third type of listing. It's a third type of listing comprehension. And if you want to know more about it and you want to try it out for yourself and see if it helps you understand the native speakers, I have another video for you where I give you a password, a temporary uh, uh, connection to my website. You can see that video where I give you the password in the description under this video. And for all of those who already know about this type of listing, well, what you've gained today is now you can recognize ski and maybe you'll think next time that this is suki. When you hear it in a conversation, you'll go, oh, suki. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed that and have a nice day. Click on the link to that other video in the description of this video if you want to learn more about the third type of listing, which is the type of listing that's going to help you learn to understand the native speakers. And that's no matter which language you're studying. Have a good day.